The communications category recognizes achievements in sharing knowledge about landscape architecture history, art, technology, theory, and practice with those within and outside the profession. Receiving honor awards in communications are Ecology as the inspiration for a presidential library park for the George W. Bush Presidential Library Center by Michael Van Valkenburg Associates. Most presidential libraries are about the architecture, not the landscape, but this well laid out study focuses on the garden and the space around the library. One juror said, how many times do you see the transition of what happened in a meadow in a way that is graphically clear? This one actually communicates how landscape design and a scientific approach are dealing with these unique ecologies. Captivated by the seductive imagery, the jury was unanimous in praising a beautiful book whose impact will be far-reaching. The Landscape Architecture of Lawrence Halprin by the Cultural Landscape Foundation. It's unbelievable, exclaimed one juror, that the National Building Museum took on a landscape architecture project like this. Nobody else in the country is doing this for landscape architecture. Others noted that mid-century landscape architecture is rarely dealt with. Wherever we can grab it, we need to grab it and celebrate it. The sketches, plans, and photographs allow us to trace the thread from the drawing to the built environment. It makes the profession feel good about itself. Toured an Urban Ecology, publisher Monticelli Press by Scape. Within these pages, forward-thinking authorities share a number of tools and innovative strategies, such as the recreation of oyster beds that we're going to be using to deal with sea level rise. If you've been in the profession as long as I have, remarked a juror, you've seen the changes radically reshaping the practice of landscape architecture. This is especially important for students to understand. Jens Jensen, The Living Green, a feature documentary by Viva Lundin Productions and the University of Michigan. This is a really important video that ought to reach a wider audience, declared the jury. It documents the fact that a lot of the innovative things Jensen did were perceptive forerunners of today's environmental movement. Landscape Architecture Magazine also said, archival photos and footage are blended with commentary by historians to give context to Jensen's Midwestern work. The discovery of long lost recordings of Jensen himself several years into the project helped the filmmakers bring their subject to life. Championing Connectivity, how an international competition captured global attention and inspired innovation in wildlife crossing design by ARC Solutions. This study focuses on how animals encounter the roads we build. The work helps encourage governments, especially those in underdeveloped countries, to start funding safe crossings in a serious way. Landscape architects should promote and encourage this line of thinking for new road construction. I thought this was terrific, exclaimed a juror, and should be in the hands of every state department of transportation and county roads people. It raises awareness. Receiving the award of excellence in communications is Digital Library of Landscape Architecture History by Benjamin George. It's critical for students to understand the movements and ideas that have shaped our profession. This digital library bridges the gap of time and place in landscape architecture history, transporting students to historical sites across the globe. You could be completely computer illiterate and yet still find it easy to navigate this resource. And the virtual reality component is a really important part of our profession's future. Continually evolving, the digital library will keep growing as new information and sites are added. Several jurors felt it's a long overdue resource that will be especially useful for students. 
a great service has been done for the profession.